Love those. Too bad. <laughs> Hi, guys. That was recording when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with your um, Jeremiah reading. That was Jeremiah. That was not Jeremiah. That was Jeremiah. I'm sorry when they get so long here. Um, I don't know. They have them already pre-set up this way. Um, how long they have you read each day. And um, today is Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 through chapter 8 verse 7. Mm. So bear with me guys. Mm. Quit. Sherman's eating my favorite cookies. He won't let me have any. Hey. I heard it. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16 through chapter 8, verse 7. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. But you said, We will not walk in it. I appointed watchmen over you and said, Listen to the sound of the trumpet. But you said, We will not listen. Therefore, hear, you nations, you who are witnesses, observe what will happen to them. Hear, you earth, I am bringing disaster on this people, the fruit of their schemes, because they have not listened to my words and have rejected my law. What do I care about incense from Sheba or sweet calamus from a distant land? Your blunt offerings are not acceptable. Your sacrifices do not please me. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will put obstacles before this people. Parents and children alike will stumble over them. Neighbors and friends will perish. This is what the Lord says. Look, an army is coming from the land of the north. A great nation is being stirred up from the ends of the earth. They are armed with bow and spear. They are cruel and show no mercy. They sound like the roaring sea as they ride on their horses. They come like men in battle formation to attack you, daughter Zion. We have heard reports about them and our hands hang limp. Anguish has gripped us, pain like that of a woman in labor. Do not go out of the fields or walk on the roads. For the enemy has a sword, and there is terror on every side. Put on sackcloth, my people, and roll in ashes. Mourn with bitter welling, as for an only son, for suddenly the destroyer will come upon us. I have made you a tester of metals, and my people the ore, that you may observe and test their ways. They are all hardened rebels, going about to slander. They are bronze and iron. They all act corruptly. The bellows blow furiously to burn away the lead with fire, but the refining goes on in vain. The wicked are not purged out. They are called rejected silver because the Lord has rejected them. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, who come through these gates to worship the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Reform your ways and your actions, and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words and say, This is the temple of the Lord, 
the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly, if you do not oppress the foreigner, the fatherless, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in this place, in the land I gave your ancestors forever and ever. But look, you are trusting in deceptive words that are worthless. Will you steal and murder and commit adultery and perjury? Burn incense to Baal and follow other gods you have not known and then come and stand before me in this house which bears my name and say we are safe, safe to do all these detestable things? Has this house which bears my name become a den of robbers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. Go now to the place in Shiloh, where I first made a dwelling for my name, and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people Israel. While you were doing all these things, declares the Lord, I spoke to you again and again, but you did not listen. I called you, but you did not answer. Therefore, what I did to Shiloh, I will now do to the house that bears my name, the temple you trust in, the place I gave to you and your ancestors. I will trust you from my presence, just as I did all your fellow Israelites, the people of Ephraim. So do not pray for this people, nor offer any plea or petition for them. Do not plead with me for I will not listen to you. Do not see what they are doing in the towns of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. The children gather wood, the fathers light the fire, and the women knead the dough and make cakes to offer to the Queen of Heaven. They pour out drink offerings to other gods to arouse my anger. But am I one they are provoking? declares the Lord, are they not rather harming themselves to their own shame? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, My anger and my wrath will be poured out on this place, one man and beast on the trees of the field and on the crops of your land, and it will burn and not be quenched. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, Go ahead, add your burnt offerings to your other sacrifices, and eat the meat yourselves. For when I brought your ancestors out of Egypt and spoke to them, I did not just give them commands about burnt offerings and sacrifices, but I gave them this command, Obey me, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you, that it may go well with you. But they did not listen or pay attention. Instead, they followed the stubborn inclinations of their evil hearts. They went backward and not forward. From the time your ancestors left Egypt until now, day after day, again and again, I sent you in my servants, the prophets. But they did not listen to me or pay attention. They were stiff-necked and did more evil than their ancestors. When you tell them all this, they will not listen to you. When you call to them, they will not answer. Therefore say to them, This is the nation that has not obeyed the Lord, its God, or responded to correction. Truth has perished. It has vanished from their lips. Cut off your hair and throw it away. Take up a lament of the barren heights. For the Lord has rejected and abandoned this generation that is under his wrath. The people of Judah have done evil in my eyes, declares the Lord. They have set up their detestable idols in the house that bears my name and have defiled it. They have built, built the high places of Topeth and the valley of Ben-Hinnom to burn their sons and daughters in the fire, something I did not command nor 
did I did it ever enter my mind so beware the days are coming declares the Lord when people will no longer call it Topeth or the valley of Ben Hinnom but they will call the valley of slaughter for they will bury the dead of Topeth until there is no more room then the carcasses of this people will become food for the birds and the wild animals and there will be no one to frighten them away I will bring an end to the sounds of joy and gladness and to the voices of bride and bridegroom in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem for the land will become desolate at that time declares the Lord the bones of the kings and officials of Judah the bones of the priests and prophets and the bones of the people of Jerusalem will be removed from their graves they will be exposed to the Sun and the moon and all the stars of heaven which they have loved and served and which they have followed and consulted and worshiped they will not be gathered up or buried but they will be like dung lying on the ground wherever I banish them all the survivors of this evil nation will prefer death to life declares the Lord Almighty say to them this is what the Lord says when people fall down do they not get up when someone turns away do they not return why then have these people turned away why does Jerusalem always turn away they cling to deceit they refuse to return I have listened attentively but they do not say what is right none of them repent of their wickedness saying what have I done each pursues their own course like a horse charging into battle even the stork in the sky knows her appointed seasons and the dove the swift and the thrush observe the time of their migration but my people do not know the requirements of the Lord And that's where we'll stop today with Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16 through um, chapter 8, verse 7. I hope you guys enjoyed your Jeremiah reading today. And I hope you guys have a <clears throat> great rest of your evening. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, guys. And I'll be putting your Bible reading up in the New Testament here in just a few minutes. Bye, guys. God bless.